Hey guys, so next week we're going to be starting the college essay or the personal essay. And I just want to go through with you guys really quickly some important information about setting the essay up. And then you should be working on those personal questions, those brainstorming questions to help kind of decide on what you want to write about. Um, so you guys can read through the goals and questions and understandings. Uh, this is posted for you. Um, there's more sample essays too if you want some more examples, but we've been reading them in class. So you should have a pretty good idea. Remember, we've been thinking about purpose. Um, what's the point? What's the writer trying to show us? We've been thinking about logos. Um, so what are these arguments and facts that we learn about the author? We've also been talking about pathos, right? What things does the author do to keep us engaged? So those rhetorical devices, you're going to want to include figurative language or sensory details, um, strong word choice in your own essays. So these are things that we've been looking about or looking at that you want to think about putting in your own. Um, we've also been talking about how writers offer legitimacy. So how do they build trust? Um, in their admissions board, in the people that are reading this and deciding whether or not they should let them into the school. Um, so again, we've been reviewing the three appeals, but these are posted on the PowerPoint just in case you need a reminder. Um, so this is the important part. What does an A plus essay look like? You want to make sure that you have a focused essay with a thesis statement and you stay focused on that prompt throughout. Your essay should include details and examples from your own experience or issue. So today, as you answer those brainstorming questions, you're starting to think about what experience do you want to share? And you need to focus in really on one um, so that you can stay focused and stay connected to a thesis. Um, your essay should be logical. It should flow appropriately. Um, you want to make sure that there's closure and it feels like it ends appropriately. And obviously, you want to really look at this essay for grammar and spelling. And I'll help you with that too. I'll revise it for you. Um, and lastly, you want to make sure that it sounds like you. Um, it should feel like something that you wrote about yourself. Um, so that's important. How are we evaluating these essays? The big things to focus on that I'll be looking for um, is that your essay addresses the prompt through those examples, that your essay includes details. So you need to show versus tell. You want to provide that picture for your reader about what you went through or what happened or what your talent is, whatever you're writing about. You want to make sure, again, that it's organized, you've included transitions, and you want to make sure that you have that closing section, that closing paragraph that makes it feel complete. And this is usually where you put in that piece about what you learned from this experience or how this experience changed you. Again, grammar and spelling, and it should feel like you. This is a checklist and I've posted this um, to the Google Classroom under classwork. These are things that you wanna make sure that you have in your essay before you submit it. So again, it's focused on one thing, um, examples, rhetorical devices. So you should be using those same strategies that we looked at in the other examples that we listened to and read together in class. Again, organization, make sure you proofread and make sure that it's, it's you. It sounds like um, your own writing. So again, today your main focus is just those brainstorming questions for the essay. You don't have to start the essay today, but I just wanted to give you a bigger picture on where we're going um, when we start this next week. All right, guys, get to work. Finish those questions. They are due tonight by midnight. Stop recording. There we go.